All right, question 33. Which one of the following sets of numbers contains only rational numbers? All right, so this is a new set of numbers we learned this year. Well, rational numbers aren't really new. We've known about them for a while. But the other type, irrational numbers, I think is new in Math 10. Okay. Maybe some of your Math 9 teachers might have shown it to you. Now, an, a rational number, and yeah, there's a couple definitions. I think the one that is technically the most correct is can be expressed as a ratio ratio of integers. Okay, that's why I call them rationals, ratio rationals. Um, sometimes um, it can be ex referred to as a fraction of integers, and both definitions work out okay. Um, now, some numbers, though, you can it's kind of hard to tell whether they can be expressed as a ratio of integers. For example, like 0 0.3 repeating or 0 0.1111. It's kind of hard to tell. So, the alternative definition is it has to have two conditions to be rational. Two conditions. Two conditions. Okay. The first condition is that it has to have a repeating or terminating decimal. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't say two conditions, only one condition. So the decimal has to repeat or the decimal has to terminate. If it, if it does one or the other, so it has to repeat or terminate, but if the decimal repeats or the decimal terminates, then it is considered a rational number. An irrational number is basically if it doesn't do that. So an irrational number, the conditions here is that the decimal does not repeat or terminate. Okay, so an example of a non-repeating non-terminating decimal is pi. For example, pi doesn't, because if it was 3.1415, it goes on forever. Okay, so uh, question 33 asks for which one contains just rational numbers. So we want to look for the set of numbers that has a continuously repeating, or has numbers that have repeating or terminating decimals. If it has one of these cases where it has a non-repeating, non-terminating, then it's not considered a rational number. So let's look at A. Um, negative 3 quarters. If I were to turn this into a decimal, this would be 0 0.75. Okay, so this is a repeating or terminating decimal. It also happens to be a fraction of integers, that's good. 7.1 is a terminating decimal, so that's good. That's good, that's good, and square root of 16, well, 16 is a perfect square, so square root of 16 is 4. So, it looks like A is good. And we don't really have to check the other ones, but just to, for completion's sake, we will look. Um, in D, I notice there's pi in there. Pi is always irrational, so D is not an answer. Here, I've got a decimal, a non-terminating decimal that doesn't repeat. So, not an answer. And here I've got the square root of 5. Well, the square root of 5 is, well, 5 is not a perfect square, and the square root of a non perfect square is going to be irrational. So, it's not going to be B. Now, let's check to make sure that the answer key is correct 33A. So, yeah, we're good. Let's remember the definition. This is, the, this is one alternative way of remembering what a rational number is. The actual way, I think, the actual definition is this. Uh, ratio of integers or fraction of integers. And if it's not a rational number, then it's an irrational number.